Hi everybody, welcome to another Doug's Lab video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the properties of green sand and how to use it. And this is probably going to be a series of videos, probably three, where in the first video I detail the properties of green sand and what to do with it. Um, and then the second video will be actually making quality molds out of green sand. And then part three, um, the casting of the mold. So, since this is part one, I will be detailing uh, how to make and use green sand. So this right here is my green sand, and uh, I made it from basically just really fine sand and bentonite clay I used from ground up ki uh, kitty litter, and uh, this cost me like ten dollars. It's huge. This is about uh, I think eighty pounds of sand. I think is here. Anyway, um, basically anything will really work for green sand as long as you have a sand component and a clay component, and you want about ten percent clay. So, and then you just got to play with the water content. And I found the water content is super critical, especially for beginners. Um, because when I first started, I would always make my sand way too wet. And that was a huge problem. If you see here, the sand looks like it's dry. It's just barely moist. There's almost no water in it. And this is the consistency that you want it at. I was making my clay like uh, like beach sand, where you can make sand castles and stuff out of it. You know, because that seemed logical, but... My molds kept failing, the parting line would never open up right, and I'll show you what that's all about in the next video. But anyway, so this is how to temper your, your uh, sand. Basically what you need to do is, uh, keep, I always store it dry because if you don't, it gets moldy, it starts smelling, things like that. Uh, and I temper mine with water, you can use oil, but uh, the problem with oil is that, yes, while it doesn't evaporate, um, you can't take any out once you put it in. So it's difficult to get it right. Once you do get it right, though, it, it does work really well. But anyway, this is water-tempered sand, and uh, it's 10% bentonite clay, and uh, the rest is just really fine white silica sand, and it's been moistened. Um, biggest tip I can give for beginners to moisten the sand is use a spray bottle. Don't try and pour it in and mix it around like that because it's really hard to mull, especially if you don't have a muller and you're just using your hands like I am. You want to just take a spray bottle and mist the surface of the sand. You can mist it. Don't get it too wet. Just mist it, and then you can take it and just fold in all the misted sand and keep mixing mix it until you think it's done mixing and then mix it some more because seriously you really need to mix this stuff to get it good anyway so this is my uh, finished tempered sand um, to check the to check to see if the sand is good enough for using in the green sand molds um, we use like the, the break test I think is what it's called but basically you just grab a fistful of sand and it should make a chunk like that. You should be able to handle the chunk without it breaking. And when you do break the chunk, it should break cleanly without crumbling. So you got a little bit of crumbles here, but you can test this over and over again. See? Breaks clean. Oops, I grabbed a chunk. Breaks clean. Breaks clean. Breaks clean. So you can tell this is going to be good for using as molding sand. If it's too wet, it'll stick to your hands. Notice this, this sand doesn't stick to my hand. I don't have like the big wet chunks on my hand, big wet like patches, and yet the sand still can form handleable little tubes when you squeeze it. And you know, you gotta squeeze pretty hard, but that's the idea. So just like that, and this is perfect molding sand. So and you can use play sand and cat litter that's been ground up. You can use um, stuff from Home Depot, you can go to like a pottery supply store and buy powdered clay and things like that. I'd always recommend to mix it dry and then moisten it because I made the mistake once of mixing, of making like a clay slip and mixing it with the sand and it ended up being way too wet. And I had all sorts of problems with the casting sand being lumpy with clay and things like that. So anyway, this is properly tempered green sand. And uh, in part two, I'm going to show you how to make a mold out of it and make a mold in a 10 by 10 flask. So until then, stay tuned, subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching.